Hello and welcome back. My name is Matthew McLaughlin, and today I want to show you how to transport your electric bike to wherever you want to go ride it. Now, of course, there's lots of ways to move bikes around. You can get a cargo carrier that attaches to the trailer hitch receiver of your truck or SUV. You can put it in the back of an SUV or a sedan if you can fit. I've seen Saronster get really clever with that stuff, but I'm going to show you guys how to load it up in what I consider to be the safest way possible. See, if you're putting it into an SUV, you can scratch up your bumpers or your tailgate. Likewise, if you're trying to put it onto a bicycle rack, it's probably not rated for how heavy these bikes are. Of course, if you get a nice one from Rocky Mounts or from Thule, most likely you should be good. But let's assume that you don't have that and that you do have a truck. So loading your bike up into your bed is gonna be one of your best options. But if you've never done it before, it can be kind of scary. So let me show you what to do. The first thing you're gonna need are some tie down straps. The straps you wanna use are designed to hold dirt bikes in the beds of trucks. The key features are a carabiner at one end, a hook with a soft tie at the other end, and you want to go with the standard press pull method instead of a ratchet strap. I use these ones from Moose Racing, but you can use any that fit that three criteria. That's the carabiner, the hook with the soft strap, and the pull instead of the ratchet strap. The reason why you want these specific ones is because when you put it into your bed, the carabiner stays clipped into your bed. The soft strap goes around the handlebar and hooks in so that you're not hurting your bike, putting any scratches on the handlebars or on top of the, uh, on top of the triple clamps. And the last key item being this pull system means that instead of ratchet strapping, which takes a while and can overload the forks damaging them, this allows you to just dial in your pressure very gently and easily. So once you have your straps, take your straps and get them set up in the bed of your truck before putting the bike in. Take your carabiner, hook it in, and then simply drape the rest of it across the top of your bed. Setting the straps up before you load the bike up means that when you're doing that stressful process, trying to hold it up and keep it balanced, so you don't have to worry about having too few hands. This way you just reach down, grab your strap, hook it up, cinch it, and you're all set. Next, do the same thing on the other side. From this point, just go ahead and put your bike in the bed. Oh. Well, let me show you how to fix that. So if this was a heavy motorcycle or an ATV or something, right now we'd need some ramps. Luckily, this guy only weighs 130 pounds and a lot of e-bikes out there weigh a hell of a lot less than that. So if yours has a throttle, let me show you how to get it in the bed. Take your key, go ahead and turn your bike on. Now what you're gonna do is place your, uh, one of your feet forward and one of your feet backwards, giving you really good stability. What you're gonna do is rock the bike forward and hit the gas and stand the bike up on its back wheel. Now this is pretty easy to do. All you gotta do is worry about your one brake, in my case that's my left hand, and your throttle, that would be my right hand. So, practice this a few times, and then walk the bike forward with it. And just keep practicing until you're comfortable. pretty easy. So now that you've mastered, 
popping your bike up onto one wheel, you can then slowly walk it up to where the skid plate hits the tailgate and proceed to load your bike up. Once you have it in this position, it's basically just kind of manhandling it up there. And then once the back wheel is set, you can drop the kickstand so you can hop up in the bed and tie it down. So from here, I take my hands off the handlebars. It's nice and stable on the bed. And then I simply lift up the rear, drop the kickstand, and then let it lie there as if it were on the ground. Then you can hop up, get the bike centered, and get ready to tie her down. So you wanna start tying the bike down from the side that the kickstand is. That way, if it does happen to fall or anything, you have two safety points. If you start on this side and you pull it a little too tight, the bike is just gonna go over that way since the kickstand isn't there. So, gonna go ahead and grab your strap. You're going to go around the handlebars with the soft tie, hook it back in, and then just take up the slack, just like so. Next, you're gonna grab the other strap, already hooked on, and do the same thing. Run the soft tie around the handlebar and hook it back in. Take your time to ensure that the soft strap isn't gonna be touching any of the wires. Last thing you wanna do is get to your ride and notice that something has become disconnected because of the strap itself. From here, take this one and we're actually going to put tension onto it. After that, it's basically adjusting each strap to get the tension right so that your bike is nice and straight up. So loosen up that one so we tighten down this one. Then we get a little bit of tension and just kind of work our way down until the forks are compressed just a little bit. Last thing you want is to compress the forks all the way down because that'll damage the forks themselves. See how the fork isn't compressed too much? That's what we're looking for. And the last thing to do is close up the tailgate. So all you gotta do is grab the subframe of your bike, go ahead and lift that back wheel up, and move it over to the side. So from here, you're gonna take any little strap that you may have that has a hook at the end, fairly small diameter, and then some sort of loop or hook at the other end. Now what we're gonna do is take the hook and actually latch it into the tailgate itself. After that, take the loop or the hook that may be on your strap and lift it up and attach it to the bed itself. From there, you're just gonna go ahead, tighten up the strap as much as you can, and this will keep the tailgate up so it's not flopping around. The nice part about this system is when you're ready to go ride, all you have to do is unlatch the tailgate pull the bike out, and you're set. Make sure to tie up the ends of your straps. Last thing you want is these to be flapping around or worse, go off the edge and catch a tire. So the way that I like to do this, take all the length of your strap, double it, or double it again, and then take all of it and actually tie a knot using the whole length. Make sure that it's a snug knot and that it's pulled down all the length. That way, it's all nice and tight and it's not going anywhere. Uh, make sure that you don't accidentally leave your keys in there either. Now that your bike's all loaded up safely, go out, have some fun. Thanks for watching.